Alright, so uh, in this tutorial we're going to be taking this form we created in the last one, which is right here with these text fields, and we're going to create a second page uh, using PHP that is going to display the content of these dynamically on the screen and also send it away in an email. Now if I just do a quick review, each of these fields has its own name, so there down the bottom this text field is called name, this one is called email, comment, and these radio buttons are both called newsletter. The action of the form, in other words what happens when you submit, it, you click on the submit button, is sendmail.php which means the information will be posted to this file here. So um, what I've done here is I've created created sendmail.php. Now this is based on my template so uh, all I did was I created a new file and saved it as sendmail.php and uh, first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of dummy content um, in here with where the content should go. So uh, I've just got something basic like you know, thanks for contacting us, we'll be in touch as soon as possible and um, we're just going to display the information back to them, it's uh, quite nice people would be able to see that so they can see exactly what they've just done and uh, now we'll just go through the process of displaying that information. So what I'll get you to do is go into the code view and at the very top of the page, right up at line 1, I'm just going to clear a couple of lines and put some PHP which is going to uh, process the information coming from the form. So PHP tags are like this, less than, question mark, and then PHP and hopefully Dreamer will colour that red for you and they close with a question mark and a greater than, sorry that was a less than sign, my bad. Um, so if you forget to close it you'll notice that the code doesn't recolor so Dreamweaver does tend to look after you um, and just gives you little alerts like that. Now um, what we do need to do is keep our information in variables. Now a variable always starts with a dollar sign and I'm going to call my first one dollar sign name. So that's the variable that's going to contain the person's name. So that's going to be equal to whatever they entered in that form. So that's been sent uh, using the post method. So I'm going to catch that data by grabbing it from the post array by using dollar sign underscore post and then inside square brackets is the name of that text field. So I'll put an apostrophe around the name There's apostrophe and close the square brackets and every PHP command line ends in a semicolon. So what you have there now is saying whatever they entered in the name field is now assigned to the name variable. Now once it's in a variable we can do anything we want with it we can combine it with other things, we can display it on the screen, anything. So that's the first one, um, and I'll just repeat that for the other um, fields, for the email, comment, and for the newsletter. So uh, there, there you have it, so they're exactly the same lines, email, comment, and newsletter. So my next step now is to take those variables and display them on screen. So if I scroll down here, um, there's the HTML code for the message that appeared on the content or design view we saw earlier. So after the name heading there, I'm just going to display the name variable, that dollar sign name. So to do that, I need to use PHP. So there's my PHP tag. And I'm going to use the echo command, which just has the effect of printing it on screen. So I'm echo dollar sign name. It's a command, so it ends with a semicolon. And then close the PHP off. So this will now display the name immediately after that name heading. And I'll just repeat that again for the email comment and whether or not they want to receive the newsletter. So uh, now we've got exactly the same thing on each each line, echoing the name variable, the email variable, the comment variable, and the newsletter variable. So uh, I'm just going to save that and upload it to the server by clicking on it and then pushing it, um, and then we'll go and test my contact form. This is the uh, the form live online, and uh, I'll just put put some stuff in there. I'll put in my name, um, random email address, and a message. And I say yes, I do want to receive the newsletter. So when I submit this, all going well. Here we go. Apart from some formatting issues, uh, there's the name that I entered, the email address, the comment, and yes, I want to receive it. So this page is now displaying dynamic content. In other words, it changes depending on what the user entered on the form. Now our next step is to take that information and actually 
put it in an email message and send that away to the owner of the website. So I'll just return to Dreamweaver and uh, in our code, we'll scroll up the top there, um, just need a couple of lines, we're going to use the mail command and in brackets, and Dreamweaver will help you out with a little prompt here, there are four parameters that we're going to be doing. The first one is who do we want this to go to? So um, in an apostrophe I'm just going to put um, the dummy email address. So uh, you can put your own email address in there so you can test this. Then a comma. And then the next thing is the subject. In other words, what do you want the subject of the email to be? So I'm just going to put contact from website. Again, <coughs> again in apostrophes. Then after a comma, we want the message. Now this time the message is going to contain um, all this information up above here. So I'm just going to have to put that into another variable. So I'm just going to call it dollar sign message and we'll create that in a moment. And the last one, um, we'll just put who it's from. And again, I'll need to create that as a variable. So I'll close that off brackets. And then it's a PHP command, so it needs to end in a semicolon. So next step is to create the message and from variables. So I'll just space this all out so it's easier to follow. Dollar sign message oops, is equal to, and then in speech marks. Now I'm using speech marks because I'm going to combine text and variables. Anytime you put variables into something, you need to uh, put speech marks around it. Otherwise, you can just use apostrophes as I did down here with the email address and the subject. So um, I'll just put someone has contacted us um, through the website. Now, if I want it to appear on a new line, then um, what I'm going to do is use backslash n, and that will create a line break. And I'll just put name, dollar sign name. So, in other words, it'll show their name. And again, backslash n for a new line. Um, email address, dollar sign email, um, the comment, dollar sign comment. And last thing is, I guess, whether they want to receive the newsletter, dollar sign newsletter. So that's a variable, so I need to close off the speech marks at the end. And again, it's a command, so semicolon to finish the line. Now the other variable was the dollar sign from, which is um, something that goes in the header of the uh, the email. So there's a special type of way of being done. So in speech marks, make from with a capital F, a colon, and then in this case, I'm going to make it from the, whatever they put into that email field. So uh, whatever they entered up here will appear who it's from in our email. And again, close the speech marks and finish with a semicolon. So I'll save that and upload it by again by selecting it and pushing it. And we'll test that and check our email to see if it works. Okay, so here we are with the contact form. Um, we've got the same information as we had before. So when I click on submit, it will go through to our sedmail.php page, and it's exactly the same as earlier. Uh, there's our dynamic content. Oh, and there's my alert saying that if I go to Outlook. Eventually, here is my email contact from website, so it's come through with the correct um, subject. There's the email address that it's from, and there's the someone has contacted us, new line, name was Mr. Adams, new line, email address, comment, hi there. So, so everything has worked. So uh, that was great. If we go back to Dreamweaver just to uh, review it, um, what we do is we receive the information from the, con from the form. Um, it's been posted to us, so we use the post array, and we use this dollar sign underscore post to gather it. We assign each bit of data to a variable, and then we can um, display those variables on screen down here by using the echo command, so echo and dollar sign name. And I can use the mail command to then send that information away to an email address. And that is all.